Hello, and welcome to our series on the procurement process. Today, we are going to go through the reversal of transaction for a material movement. Every transaction that results in the addition or reduction in a material stock is considered as a material movement. When transactions are posted for material movement, a material document is created, which serves as a record of this transaction. Also, if the transaction posted involves the consumption from our stock, for instance, an accounting document is created to show the reduction in our stock value. For example, if we wrongly post a transaction for items consumed from our stock, such as a wrong quantity consumed, the system has the flexibility of allowing you to reverse the material document posted and hence reversing all other effects of this transaction in our general ledger account. Demonstrating this, I'm going to go to my transaction for managing my material documents, search and select the material document I want to reverse. I can see from here that the movement type was an issue for cost center, which I can view the specific cost center by going to the item. So here you can see that it was to the finance operations department. When I move to the process flow, I can see the corresponding documents, which is my material document and my accounting document that was created. I can further view the general entries by seeing the general ledger account that were affected. So here you can see that my stock account was credited and my consumption account was debited. Going, moving on, I can go back and choose the reverse option to reverse this posting, putting the additional notes like my reason for the posting. So I can state that wrong posting dates used. Select my line item, then proceed to save. Upon saving, another material document is created, which serves as a reversal of the initial transaction that was posted. So I can go back to that material document, go to my process flow. You can see that another document is added to the flow, which shows the reversal. I can also view my general entries and from here you can see that the initial transaction credited my, credited my stock account but here my stock account has been debited with the exact amount and my consumption account has been credited with the corresponding figure. This brings us to the end of the lesson for today. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel as we continue our series on the procurement process. Thank you.